Today in this video, we are going to simulate Bronny James' NBA career. If you don't know, Bronny James just got drafted by the Lakers and it's getting all of the hoopla right now because of sweet nepotism. But I wanna see if Bronny James will actually be a good player or will he fizzle out pretty quickly after LeBron leaves. So we're gonna use ChatGPT, do a full simulation to see what does Bronny James do? Has he become a star or is he terrible? More content like this, make sure to like this video and let's hop right into this. All right, so I have everything here. Say do a full simulation of Bronny James career had the whole prompt and where he was drafted many argue he's not a big good prospect but tell me if he is based on skill set you know tell me each year of stat line give me his percentages so let's let's see what they say how many years he plays let's see if he actually has a successful nba career okay i'm gonna go down it's gonna simulate the whole thing but i'm gonna go down so 24 25 season he plays 60 games he averages 10 minutes a game that's a lot. Four points per game. Yeah, so LeBron said, hey, I'm playing with my son. I don't give a cluck. I am playing with my son. All right, so let's see. Rebounds, one. Assists, one and a half. Steals. Field goal percentage, 38. Three-point percentage, 29. Free throw percentage, 70. You know, honestly, this is not a bad rookie season. You're not going to win an award, but this is not bad for a person who is in the second round. Averaging 10 minutes a game, that's, that's beautiful. But, um, the next year, 55 games, he gets a little more 12 minutes a game. Five points. Rebounds is one and a half. Assists, okay. Let's see the percentages. You know, nothing, nothing crazy popping out here. Percentages, 39, 31, okay. No awards. Okay, so nothing crazy the first two years. Let's see if there's any improvement in his third year. So 14, 6, 1, 2, okay. So 40%, he's getting a little better from the field goal percentage. 33% uh, from three. Free throw percentage is 74%. Okay, so... At this point, what are y'all thinking of his career? Like, do you think, oh yeah, this this is just what it is? Like, LeBron's probably retired by this point. Um, is he like maybe he has a function? I might ask if he's what was his specialties? Is he a good defensive player or something? Because with these numbers, you gotta be you gotta be something. Okay, so year four, seven a game. You know, he's improving 41, 34, 76, but obviously not a very fruitful NBA player. Um, 18 minutes a game. Okay, no awards. 22 point okay but he's still on the lakers though nine a game two two 42 35 78 no awards okay he's fine it took him was that 2029 was that year six year five year six for him to average 10 a game he must be a specialist i'm gonna ask if he's a specialist 43 36 80 he's improving every year though he's improving 11 a game 44 37 81 okay 13 a game. He's still on the Lakers. 45, 38, 82. But the Lakers want to. Hey, LeBron said, bro, he's been in Lakers almost 10 years. They said, LeBron said, I don't care how many points. He averaged 10, 5, 8. He's staying on the roster. 12, 2, 3, 1, and 4. No award. 2023, 20, 11, 2. So, okay, so it's kind of stalling out. Nothing crazy. This is this seems like his peak. He's going to be a Laker for life, though. 69, 2. Okay. Okay, and that's his last season. Okay, so he played 11 seasons in the NBA all with the Lakers. You know, that's impressive for a second-round pick who's, you're going to see his average is 9 a game. So he played 11 seasons with the Lakers. He averages 9 points a game. Rebounds per game is 2. Assists is 2. About 3. Steals is 1. Blocks is a half. Field goal, 42, 35, 78. Brighty not qualified for any major awards or all NBA teams, but caught a respectable role as a reliable rotation player. He never left the Lakers, providing steady contributions throughout his tenure. His career was defined by consistent improvement and solid presence on the court, tribute to the Lakers' efforts over, over more than a decade. I'm going to ask ChatGPT one more question. I want to know how many wins the Lakers had every season and what was Bronny's specialty. All right, so we are here. Bronny's specialty Throughout his career, he was energy and hustle on the court. He was known for his relentless effort, making key plays and providing spark off the bench. While his overall skill set was well-rounded, his defensive intensity and ability to contribute in transitions stood out. His defensive efforts, particularly his ability to guard multiple positions. I don't know how many positions he guarded one, too. Um, along with his high energy play, made him a valuable role player for the Lakers. Yeah, we had 45 wins. Next year, 47. 50 wins. Who they added? 52 wins, 53 wins, 51 wins, 49 wins, 48 wins, 50 wins, 47 wins, 45 wins. Okay. So the Lakers were a pretty decent team. I'm going to, last question I'm going to ask is where did the Lakers end up 
like where was their playoff finish i'm curious and what was Bronny james greatest nba play i'm gonna ask those two questions All right, so let's look. So Lakers postseason eliminated in the first round, eliminated in the second round, reached the Western Conference Finals, eliminated in the second round, reached the Western Conference Finals, eliminated in the second round, eliminated in the first round, reached the Western Conference Semis, reached the Western Conference Semis, eliminated in the first round, missed the playoffs. So they don't win no championships, but let's see what Bronny James' greatest play. Okay. I'm here for it. Bronny James' greatest NBA play occurred during the 2028-29 season, the Western Conference Finals. Against the Warriors in Game 5 of series tied 2-2. Bronny made a crucial defensive play in the final seconds of the game. The Lakers were up by one point, and the Warriors had possession. Bronny was guarding Steph Curry, who was playing in the 2028-29 season. So how many years is that? That means he's been in the NBA 20 years, huh? Like he, LeBron, yeah, I know he's trying to get that. He makes sure no one break that three record. He's still in the, he's still in the playoffs in the, in the conference finals at that. It's crazy. My gosh. That means he made the NBA finals. Dang, Curry. He might be the greatest. Lakers up on point. The Warriors had possession. Bronny was guarding Steph, who attempted a three-point shot to win the game. But Bronny's quick reflexes and defensive instincts allowed him to block Curry's shot cleanly. And that's a quick release. It's carrying the win for the Lakers to give them a pivotal 3-2 series lead, which they would obviously choke. The play showcased Bronny's defensive prowess and the ability to perform under pressure, earning him widespread recognition and praise from fans and analysts alike. It was the finding moment in his career, highlighting his value as a defensive stopper and energizer for the Lakers. Imagine LeBron's son blocking Steph Curry like 12 years after LeBron blocked. Uh, he did block Steph Curry. Like, remember LeBron blocked Steph Curry in that finals and in, like, in game six and he was barking at him? And imagine 12 years later in the conference finals, like Bronny blocks. Like his son blocks him. Like that's that's a crazy that's a crazy thing. That's, yeah. So that's that's Bronny's career. So Bronny does not win a championship, doesn't get any awards. He looks like he's be a defensive and a you know energizer bunny for the um, Lakers. He plays 11 seasons, has a solid career, averages nine a game, and his greatest play is blocking an old man, Steph Curry, who's 40 years old, about to be 40 or is 40 years old at this point, and the Lakers up 3-2 in the conference finals. I don't know who's their star player, but hey, good job, Bronny. Uh, but hey. For more content and AI uh, simulation videos like this, make sure to like this video. Thank you guys. We reached 1,000 subscribers. I'm so very thankful for that. So, you know, let's go on the road to 2,000. I think this video right here is a video that you'd be very interested in. It's a re simulation of the 2024 NBA playoffs. And this is also another video right here where it's my thoughts and opinions on Bronny James getting drafted by the Lakers. So, click whichever video you like the most, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next video. And I'm out of here. East.